In previous centuries, the maelstroms of war, economic crisis, sickness, or simply intolerance have driven away millions of people of all nationalities from their homes in all parts of Europe. Multinational countries became ethnically cleansed, and today in cities only one language is primarily spoken. But the trails of their existence remain until today. They are visible in all European cemeteries, which are the only true reflection of the past of European cities and countries. The 20th century has radically interfered with the established habits of life and with basic human values in Europe. Millions of people have been killed and displaced. Many ethnic groups disappeared during the world wars. Today, European cemeteries are the only place, besides archives, that bear witness to the former cohabitation of different national and lingual groups that have now been separated forever or even erased during the stormy course of the history of the 20th century. Cemeteries in Europe have become not only a place to mourn, but also a place for the individual and in particular the collective remembering of the people and the history of a city and its diversity and tolerance of the past. The establishment of the Peace Memorial, which is dedicated to all victims of war, heralds a cultural monument and a piece of our cultural heritage, which is reflected in the higher level of public interest. It presents the foundation for the memory and presentation of a history that is removed from ideology. The aim of the Peace Memorial is to contribute to the reconciliation of Europe. It also represents a unique cultural point of interest as a symbol of peace in the Balkans and Europe. The Peace Memorial Project has sought a place under the sun for a memorial that symbolically presents a history free of ideology. It is about the challenges that can help European cemeteries do something that is different enough, unusual and even bold enough to catch the interest of the public so that people will talk about it, argue, praise, criticize, in short, to step out of the shadows and to be once again unique. With respect to the dignity of mankind and modern society, with its basic values and ethics, the question of the duty of taking care of war graves is becoming more and more crucial. As a symbol of our common memory, war graves are definitely part of our history. Several thousand soldiers and civilians from 27 countries have been buried in the common grave of the Second World War. When we were thinking about how to write their names on the memorial plaque after 66 years and thereby draw them out of the anonymity of the past, we faced one crucial question. What criteria should be used in writing down the names of all fallen soldiers? And the only possible answer to this dilemma was not to consider the fact of whose side they were fighting during the war. This way we strive for cooperation and mutual respect.